today is laundry day. We've gone about two and a half weeks without doing laundry, so it is time. I was really nervous about doing laundry here in Baja because they said that people that we talked to said that there's only laundry services where you drop off your laundry, they wash it for you, and then you pick it up which really made me nervous because I hate it when other people wash my laundry. I'm just very particular about how I like my stuff washed and dried and so I was not looking forward to that. But Andrew did some research last night and found a laundromat that lets you do your own laundry. Hopefully everything will go smoothly. I've read some of the reviews and there's some people that had great experiences and some that didn't. So we're gonna try it out and hopefully everything goes smoothly. So we're gonna take you on our little laundry journey. So it's not just that, you know, Suzanne is particular about how her laundry gets done, but um, there's been reviews of people that drop their laundry off here in Baja and pick it up and then there's holes in it and stuff like that. So we don't want to go through uh, any of those issues while we're here in Baja. So it's just best to do the laundry ourselves and then there's nobody to blame except for us. Uh, we went in, Susanna's getting the laundry uh, situated and I have to move the bus because uh, we're actually parked where we're not supposed to park. <laughs> All right, Let's see how close we got. Nice spacing. All right, back inside, we'll see how Susanna's doing. All right, so this is how it works, Susanna. I gave them 50 pesos, and now we get to stick this coin in here. And it's like a little puzzle. It fits just perfectly. And you can do the honors, first time. All right, simple as that. <laughs> it's a little bit different than going to the laundromat in the States, because in the States, what you do is you just put the quarters right in the machine. But here, you go to the front desk and you go ahead and get, uh, you know, you pay with cash to get a special coin that then you put into the machine to go ahead and get it started. Susanna's gonna set a timer to see how long it actually takes to do our laundry. So far, we've got two of the laundry machines uh, in use. We're waiting for them to change the third one out so we can use our next special coin. Now it costs uh, 50 pesos per load, which at today's exchange rate is roughly $2.50 uh, American money. So um, it's not that like cheap, but it's also not that expensive either. <laughs> These dryers are huge, almost as big as Susanna. Susanna, you could probably fit in one of those dryers. Probably, but I don't want to get stuck. <laughs> right here in the laundry mat, they've got some interesting stuff. They've got all these stamps that you can look at, and all these coins from different countries. And uh, also has these bills from different countries. We really like this one. This one's from Bolivia, and it's got a hummingbird on it. Anyways, just something to do while you're waiting for your laundry. So the laundry just got done. It was about 30 minutes or so per load. So that's cool. And now she's gonna stuff it into this huge dryer. Back when I was single, I used to think that laundry was so simple. You just put it in the washer and then you put it in the dryer and you call it a day. Um, but it turns out there's actually stuff that needs to be washed at different temperatures, dried for different lengths of time, and some things just don't even get dried and you just hang them, uh, hang them up to dry. So um, yeah, laundry tip, there's always something else to learn. It is 30 minutes to dry. We're able to fit all three washers minus the clothes that we wanted to hang up into that one dryer. Drying the clothes uh, cost uh, 60 pesos. So that's about $3 American to dry all of that laundry. 
Now, while we're waiting for our clothes to dry, it just so happens that there is a uh, well-reviewed taco stand uh, right near us, just walking distance. So we're gonna go ahead and walk over there and get some tacos. Secured the tacos. It is time to get back to the laundromat and check on Suzanne. All right, we've got the tacos. How's everything going here? Good. I just took out a few things that I didn't want to over dry, and then I have like 15 minutes left on the dryer. Really just like that, the dryer is done. We're gonna go ahead and take this laundry now and we're gonna get it into the bus and then drive back to the beach. And uh, from there, we'll go ahead and fold it so that way we don't have to take up any more space uh, in this small laundry mat where we're at right now. We just got done in the laundry mat and Andrew bought a little treat for us to have after um, we did the laundry. So let's give it a try. That's really good chocolate milk. Oh, I, do. I, I think the yeah. chocolate milk has different ingredients <laughs> here in Mexico than in the States, um, which is pretty exciting to go ahead and try. Yeah. Um, speaking of milk, we need milk, so we're going to go hit the grocery store before we go back to the beach. What'd and here I get? am back. <laughs> We got more than just milk and eggs. That place was crazy. They had everything in there. Everything from literally motorcycles to milk and eggs. They had one of those sushi conveyor belts going around. What? It was insane. They had a whole toy store in there. They had board games, but then I was scared that they'd be in Spanish, so I didn't buy any. Um, <laughs> so yeah, just so much stuff packed in there. And the way that you get your bread is you walk around with a tray, a big metal tray and a pair of tongs and you just pick up the bread that you want and then you bring it up to the counter and they bag it all up for you and everything. Well, I got mine in a box because I, I get more pastries than bread to be honest with you. Um, and then I found these goggles for like $2 and something cents each. So they're cheap goggles that, you know, if they get scratched, we can just throw them away. But yeah, pretty stoked on this one. <laughs> oh, and uh, the dozen eggs is actually more expensive than the 18 pack. So I just got the 18 pack and uh, they, don't need to be refrigerated here in Mexico because they don't wash off the natural, I guess, um, there's something on eggs that naturally protects them. So um, they're shelf stable, so we could just leave them in the cart and like on the countertop and they're chill. Not while we're driving though. <laughs> <laughs> nice, baby. Good Anyways, job. back to the beach. So I ate half the donut. I'm saving the other half for Susanna. There's a maple donut, we love maple. And I didn't know what this was until I bought it, um, so. I'm still not entirely sure, but it's good. <laughs> everywhere. Kind of like in the East Coast where there's trees everywhere. Okay, we made it back to the beach in time for sunset, which is so beautiful at this beach. And uh, in case you haven't found out, we're posting now uh, Sunday 